Well, hello everybody. You know, I've had some questions on zucchinis and um, I realize, especially when you're first starting out, people do not know what a male and, f and female zucchini flower looks like. So this could be a really short video for you guys. Um, here's, here's a zucchini plant and keep in mind we are at the end of the season, but it's still growing. I did have to throw some tool around it and that helps keep the squirrels, the rats, and the rabbits away. Let's see if we can get in here. This is going to be a little difficult, especially camera on one hand and trying to do the other. Okay, this flower has not opened yet. See this little knob here? This tells me that this flower is a female. That's the start of the zucchini starting to develop. Now that little knob, little round, little oblong object that's underneath at where the flower is going to open, that won't develop later. That is going to be there even before the flower opens. So you'll see a lump. You won't see a straight stem. It's going to be, once you know, it's going to be so easy. You're going to think, oh my goodness, I should have known. It's really easy once you know. This is the same with pumpkins, with melon, with most melons. You will see the start of the flower even before they open the petals. This one hasn't even opened up its petals and it's already got the start of the new fruit, which is the long zucchini. The males will be straight right from the beginning, even before they open up the petals, the big yellow petals. It will be a straight stem. The females will have a little bump there. It will be almost like it's pregnant, but it's not. It's actually the fruit already there. The fruit is there on the flowers even before the flowers open. That's how you know if it's a male or female. Now see the one next to it? There's nothing there. See how it's straight? Whoops. Let me get this out of your way. Sorry. See how it's straight under there? Just a straight stem. No, lump, no bump, no lump, no nothing. This is going to open up as a male flower. Now what happens with this is you may think, oh, I'm going to get zucchini. If these two don't open at the right time, and this looks like it's going to be good. The male's going to open, then the female's going to follow, and then bugs, insects, ants, flies, doesn't matter, are going to cross-pollinate these two flowers, and that's how that zucchini will make it. If they do not pollinate, if the male didn't, if there was no male here and only a female, what would happen is it would still continue to grow, it would get probably to an inch or two inches long and then it would just turn brown or yellow and fall off. If you know the zucchini that you've got on here, let's say this little one did not get pollinated, you could still eat that little one if you wanted to chop it up and put it in some fried eggs or something. And also, don't forget, if you end up with a bunch of male flowers and you don't have females at the time, the male flowers are edible too. The, the zucchini and squash flowers are all edible. Some people put them on salad. Some people bread them and fry them. There's all different ways of cooking the male flowers. So that's just a thought too. But it has to get pollinated for it to grow big. Now see, here's another one down here. That one hopefully got pollinated. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like it did. But sometimes if they stop at that size, then they didn't. See, here's an, here is a male flower. See, there's nothing there where this one's got the actual fruit starting. That's how you know the difference. Here's an old male flower. See, it's just straight. I can actually break that off. Well, well it fell off. See, it's just straight. There's nothing there. That was a male flower. Let me show you a different one. Okay, in here, this flower, it's straight. There's just a straight stem, like a rose, like any of your flowers, nothing underneath. There is the flower, and it's straight. That is a male. Same thing here. This one's only having males. Now, somebody said to me, that their squash plant was only throwing males. I've had that happen too. And I'm not sure if it's when it's not getting enough food or what will cause that. Um, what I do is 
if I see only male flowers developing, I will make my own compost tea out of using colored leaves and different leaves from the garden. I've got videos on that where I just throw the leaves in a bucket of water, let them rot for a few days and water it, and that has helped. The other thing I have also noticed a lot of times is in early in the season, when the season first starts, a lot of times the first flowers I have noticed on different plants are only males. And that be, may be nature trying to get the bees to start to come and pollinate the flowers. And then I have found that females follow afterwards. Let's walk over here. These two both are males. See these are, and that one, that little tiny one, see that little tiny, see if I can clear it. See that little tiny round thing there? That's actually a female. See, there's nothing under here. This is the start of the flower, but that one's not. That's an actual little ball. This particular fruit is round, so that's how I know that. But that's the start of a little round pumpkin. These two, it goes to the flower and stops. So those are males, there's one female there. I think the rest here are males, see? Yep, males, a lot of males, and again, let me see. Nope, all males. Um, again, we are at the end of the season. We're in fall, and a lot of the zucchini is pretty much done. Let's go check out one more. Okay, here's the other side of the plant, because it's split off in two directions. See the little round fruit? That's a female. Now, this already opened, so I am going to hope that that flower, before it closed, pollinated this fruit. But that's how you know that's a female, and then one next to it is a male. And you know what we're gonna do? Since this one already closed, it may be too late, but let's see, bear with me. I'm gonna open this up, and there is pollen falling out of this. Oh, I can't do this without. I'm gonna try to do it this way. I usually do it when it's open, but since I didn't catch it open, I'm going to force the issue right now. If it was open, this is all you would have to do. And you, would, you could pollinate it yourself. Now I'm hoping it's not too late because the flower's already closed, but you know, I have nothing to lose really at this point. It's not gonna hurt anything. Oops. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that the male and the female get together and that pollen gets into the female so it will develop. So now we'll see what happens. But normally I do do that when it's open. I have showed that before and that's it. So that's how you tell. If your flower has just got a straight stem on it, then you know it is a male flower. That's a male flower, see? Straight stem. But when you've got the little ball, then you know that's the female. It could be round or it can be long. This is a zucchini plant, so it's going to be long. And that's when you get right here, that, that long looking stem. It, it's got a lump in there. That's the fruit. That's it. It's that simple. Again, I wouldn't worry too much in the spring when, it, when the fruit starts first getting ready to grow. In other words, your vine is just new. I have noticed a lot of times that they're only males and then they follow quickly with females. But if it continues to have only males, then like I said, I would try to feed the plant. I make my own compost tea and see if that helps. Because sometimes I think it's the condition of the plant, it's not ready to produce yet. And maybe it's, it's food, maybe it's not enough sunlight, maybe the weather's not right. Different things can cause something to not produce yet. So just encourage it. Try some compost tea. My hope in this video I explained a little bit on what a male and female flower looks like, one that's developing fruit and one that isn't. And ending thoughts on this, I messed up my front yard. <laughs> As I'm doing this, I'm, you know, cause I have so much to do. I don't go through every single thing. And upon doing this video, I noticed there are so many insects on here. Well, I don't have insects in the other part of my yard. And that's because the birds are working. So with another video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hopefully get this problem fixed that I don't have in my regular garden.
because my front garden is going to be hopefully really big by next spring. So we'll see. So that's going to lead into another video because this is not good. To be honest, I can take a hose, I can just wash them all off, but I'm going to see if I can get rid of it a different way first. Or maybe I'll wash it off and then get rid of it a different way. No insecticide. I do not use any insecticide. If I have to use anything, I'll use water. Okay, well, I hope you now know how to figure out a male and female fruit. And that buggy one down there, that's a male. I don't see any females yet developing on here, but there might be in this cluster some females. I think I will bring the hose back and wash that off and then fix the problem in the front yard. Plugs for now. That's it. And I will come up with another solution for next time. If you are washing off insects, try to do it when the sun is still up during the day. Otherwise, you could end up with a lot of powdery mildew, which I do because I tend to do it in the evening because you would like to have the leaves dry before the sun goes down. That's it. They're all gone. If they come back, I'll just wash them off again. Next time, something else is gonna take them off for me. Okay, that's it. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.